Okay, we are in the South Fork of the Powell River upstream of Big Cherry Reservoir, which is a water supply for Big Stone Gap. We're in Virginia. These are Camber's Dubious that I have taken from this area. They, uh, Lots and lots of burrows here, more than I could actually excavate. And uh, it was kind of interesting. In one burrow, I got a first form male and a female together. And then in another burrow, I got a female with all of these little guys in it. These the, the, are all, all these smallest ones that are the same size. There's like about six of them, I think, or so. Uh, they were all in there together, uh, kind of hanging out, having a good time. So I'm going to put this on pause, and there we are, car going by. Some sort of a hunter or something, I think. Here is our little dubious. These guys are very placid, very placid. This is the female that was in the burrow with the first form male. She's like recently molted it seems. Almost fresh. And here is a first form male. They don't move much. <laughs> they spend a lot of time sitting real still. <laughs> they, <laughs> they don't even pinch. These are uh, these are the most placid crayfish I think I've ever encountered. I mean, they uh, just, just they don't do nothing. Anyhow, they're handsome. Now, I'm gonna go down below the Big Stone Gap Water Treatment Plant. I'm looking for a uh, little. Uh, stream dwelling juggy camberis that I was looking for up here but I, I didn't find it wasn't anywhere around uh, and there's a different version of camberis dubious down there so we're gonna I wish these guys would crawl around some you get an idea maybe what they do but apparently these guys don't do nothing that's what they do they do a lot of nothing. <laughs> I tell you. Whoops. A little too close. All right. That's it. They look like they're dead. But I swear they're alive. If you flip them over. Jeez. If you flip them over, they still don't do nothing. There we go. There we go. They try to get flipped back over, I guess. That's about the best you get out of them. All right. That's enough of this excitement. Okay, there's the uh, big south, for the, not the big south fork, the south fork of the Powell River. This is the section I collected the dubious in. The crayfish whisper, so to speak. And here, here it is going downstream. It's just full of leaves and here's where we're at we're, we're just like in a big old forest here oh look at that handsome field vehicle wow I tell you the guy that owns that must be one sharp cookie anyhow be that as it may there's trees everywhere somebody should come in here and thin these things out my god you know, they, these things create pollution. At least that's what Ronald Reagan said. So. <laughs> Anyhow, this place is horribly polluted. I can hardly stand it down here. It's quiet. Ain't no horns knocking, honking. Ain't no people shouting. I tell you. 
I hate places like this. Ugh, they give me the creeps. All this peace and quiet. Oof. I can't wait to get out of here. These hemlock trees. Oh my God. Look at that. Why, that's enough to give you the willies. All right. I got to get the hell out of here. I got to get on downstream. I got places to go, people to see. Well, crayfish to see. I don't care if I see any people or not. But, uh, any minute, at any minute, a bunch of dwarves could come marching around that corner, led by a hobbit or something. Yeah, man. This place is scary. Okay, that's enough of this crowdad stuff. There's the little ones. There's three little ones there. They all came from that same burrow with that female. There's two others. Very interesting little life history going on out, out here. I'm telling you, these are some cool stuff, man. Okay. There they are. Look at them. They're so well behaved. <laughs> these are the best behaved. Crawdads, I think I mayhaps have ever encountered. You put them in their box and they stay put. Aren't they bootyful? They are just cooler than snot. Look at that guy. He's amazing. It's just amazing the colors on these babies.